Do you spend way too much time assessing your students? And then after you assess them, you have all those sheets and papers and notes and post-its and it's hard to make sense of any of it. Well, I'm going to share with you my favorite tool for assessments and it's a digital assessment that's going to save you tons of time and make it really easy for you to assess your students, plan intervention and share data with parents and at your RTI meetings. And it's just amazing all around. I'm Brenda Tejeda and I've taught for 17 years, mostly in kindergarten and first grade. And when I learned about ESGI, it was a total game changer. It was so easy to assess my students. I could pick from over 2,000 assessments that are on the site already created for every skill that you can think of. And not only can you assess your students quickly, but you can also print out flashcards that are automatically generated for any incorrect responses on any assessment for your students. So all you have to do is print them, send them home, use them in the classroom. It also automatically generates uh, parent letters in English and in Spanish that you can share with families and it gives you great data from the individual student see their progress across time you can look at class data at a glance there's so much that you can do using your ESGI that it's really gonna save you so much time and I, I bet you're gonna wish you knew about it sooner when you use code Tejeda, you're also going to get a free extended trial period. So you get to test it out for 60 days to see whether you like it or not. And then if you decide to keep it, then you also get a discount on your membership. So I want to show you how easy it is to set up your classroom and get started assessing right away. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so after you've signed up for your free trial using code Tejeda, your dashboard will look like this and you can add your name here to name your class. Then it's time to add your students. So as you can see, I have a few students already, Chandler, Phoebe, Rachel, Ross, and Joey, but I'm gonna go ahead and add Monica. I'm missing Monica, so I'm going to hit this plus sign. And here's a great thing too, if you have your student names in an Excel spreadsheet, you can select to upload file and it will automatically populate the first and last names into here. But if not, you can just add them manually quickly. So I'm going to add Monica G. And then if you're going to add more than one, you can select save and add another so that this stays open. If not, you can just click on save and that student is added to your list. Now it's time to select an assessment. So as you can see up here, I have different tabs for different categories of assessments. You can add subject tabs to customize them for yourself. Um, and then all you have to do is when you're in the correct tab that you want to assess, you're going to select to add a test. You can search for an assessment with a key keyword like phonics or letter recognition, or you can also search using an author's name. So I'm gonna search for my assessments. And then if you scroll down, you'll see all of the assessments that I've created for here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select two of them. And when you check them off, they're automatically added. So when I click done, you're going to see the assessments already in my bank. Now, the reason that they have information on the pie charts is because I have Chandler selected here and I've already given him this assessment. So if you already have information there, you can, select, you can click on history to see all of the assessments that you've given that student. You can test them again if you're progress monitoring them, or you can look at all the details. So I'm gonna go over to Monica. I know I haven't assessed her yet. And then I'm gonna choose my assessment and just click on test. Start test. And then there are directions at the bottom. All you're gonna ask the student to do is to read the word that's on the screen. As they read, you're going to click on yes if they read it correctly. If they read it incorrectly, you can click no. And the great thing also is that you can add notes here. So let's say they said I instead of a here, then you can just right in the word that they said, hit no, and keep on assessing. So I'm just gonna click through here so I can show you what happens with anything that was incorrect on the assessment. I'm just gonna click on some of them, no, so that we have a little bank of words that are not read correctly. All right, so when you're done with your assessment, you're gonna get a pie chart that tells you exactly how that student did. You can view test details to see exactly which words were incorrect. And my favorite thing is flashcards. So when you click on flashcards, it's going to automatically generate flashcards for all of the incorrect responses. And all you have to do here is download it, print it, 
You can use it in class, you could send it home, you can even uh, download an email to the caregivers at home so you don't have to do anything with them. And then you can progress monitor that student to see how they do over time. Isn't that super easy? I love it. There are so many different assessments that you can choose and you can also make parent letters in English and in Spanish. So that was really just the tip of the iceberg of everything that ESGI can do. I just know you're going to love it because it's going to save you so much time. So make sure you click that link below. Don't forget to use code Tejeda, T-E-J-E-D-A for your free 60 days. And then come back here and let me know what you think.